Previously on Coin Quest Quarters. We need the 2004 Denver, Texas. Go ahead and flip this over and see if we get it, guys. Three, two, one. And this time. We actually have a chance to do this. Can we do this? Right here. Alaska, no countdown. Here we go. Yes, that is so cool, guys. And now, let's take it back to where we left off. So that 1970 was the single coin going into the collection for roll number 10. And now we're on to roll number 11. Halfway through the rolls for today's video, or I don't know, maybe the start of the second part. I don't always know how these videos are going to turn out if I'm going to make them into, you know, one part or two, depending on how long they take. Looks like we just have one shiner uh, over here. Let's take a look at that one. Ooh, nice and shiny there. Uh, it's going to be a Denver. Salt River Bay, that's to be expected. I don't think I saw anything else though, so we'll just kind of dump them out here. Try to get them in line so we can uh, see them with the camera here. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. What do we have in this roll? Hopefully we can get something in. There's an Alaska right there, that's a great sign. We do need one of those still, so I'll definitely put that to the side. All right, Kasachi, I know we already have all those other ones. What's this one? What do we have here? Blue Ridge Parkway, yeah, we already had that. Lots of just kind of common coins. The 68, we've already finished that off. All we need now is the 71. So we are on the lookout for that. But other than that, really no, uh, no reason to look at these uh, older Washington quarters because we pretty much have them all. But yeah, so far haven't seen uh, anything except for maybe this. Uh, I think we already have all of the American Samoa 2009s, but uh, definitely cool to see that come out for us. I'll put that to the side, and uh, hopefully that is going into the collection, but uh, I have sort of a bad feeling that it, that it may not. All right, guys, let me uh, go through the rest of these, and I'll let you know if we get anything in. So this right here is a bit of a surprise. As you can see here, we actually still need both of the 2016 Shawnee quarters, and uh, we actually just got our first one right here. And uh, I haven't checked the mint mark yet, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what it is. It's going to be a Philadelphia, so going in right there on the corner of that uh, page. And uh, I'm, I'm really surprised to see that, that we actually weren't able to find any of this 2016 yet. And uh, I'll be on the lookout for the other one now for sure. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. I mean, now we know we have at least one coin in. We also still have that Alaska, so right here, that we need to check the collection for. To first find out which one we need and then we'll flip it over uh, to see if that's actually the one that we got so let's go ahead and open up the collection here to the very last page that's going to be where Alaska is so Alaska 2008 looks like we need the Denver mint mark let's flip this over and see what we get and once again I think that's the fourth time in a row we've been looking for a Denver and got a Philadelphia but it doesn't matter we still got a coin into the collection on roll number 11 so I am definitely happy with that Let's go ahead and move on to roll number 12. Alrighty, here we go, cracking into roll number 12. Let's go ahead and see what it has in store for us. Okay. Let's see about four shiny coins. We got one right here, which is gonna be a Salt River Bay. We probably already know that's not a West Point because that was showing its face on uh, as an ender there, when we definitely would have noticed. But there we go, we got a 2020 uh, American Samoa there. That one's gonna be a Denver, so Finally, we're getting some some differences here. Nice uh, Denver is nice to see rather than a Philadelphia, but still not the West Point, which uh, you know that's that's what we're really on the lookout for. There's a Philadelphia right there, Marsh Billings Rockefeller. Some nicer uh, variation in the 2020s this time, so I'm happy to see that for sure. Let's go ahead and zoom in here and see what we're gonna get for the rest of these. So we got a Salt River Bay right there, Philadelphia. And what else? What else we got? Mississippi. Did we get the Missouri? I, d I don't actually remember. Wow, that's that's pretty messed up. I think this is a 20, yeah, 2013 Perry's Victory. I think we have all of those, but I'm not certain. So I'll put that one to the side and check the album a little bit later. Here we go. We got a Wisconsin. I don't remember if we got the Wisconsin that we needed. Yeah, I think we did earlier. And that one's not going to have the extra leaf. So I'll just put that one back. Still looking for a 71, so we do have to flip all of these uh, eagle backs, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd probably just pass them up, honestly. All right, Mount Rushmore right there. Actually, you know what? I don't know if we have all of the Mount Rushmores. I'm going to put that one to the side. That is one of the rarer uh, 
rarer years. Ooh, pictured rocks. I'm not sure if we have all of those, so I'll put that one on the side as well. There's Texas. Can't remember if we got that one. I know that we needed it for quite a while. So we'll keep going here. North Dakota. We got uh, Salt River Bay, Denver over there. And it looks like that is going to be the end of that roll, guys. I'll go ahead and take a look at these and get back to you in just a sec. All right, guys. So it turns out that Mount Rushmore is actually going to be going in. We finally got the Denver. I just had to do it off camera. That seems to be the trick. So 2013 Denver is going to be going in right there. And uh, we'll put that page in in just a second to basically seal the deal. We do actually have another chance to finally get that uh, Texas 2004 Denver, but with my luck and the camera, this probably isn't gonna be it. Let's go ahead and flip it anyway, guys. Three, two, one. Yep, it's gonna be the Philadelphia, of course. The curse of the camera. All right, guys, let's get into the next roll. Hopefully we can get some more. All right, unlucky roll number 13. Let's see what this one is gonna have in store for us. Interested to see if that unlucky number can actually bring us some luck. Who knows? Go ahead and open it up and find out. So no silvery looking edges, no Canadian, anything like that. We do have some, some shiners right here. Maybe we'll get a West Point, who knows. That one's gonna be a Philadelphia right there, Salt River Bay. I think I got a couple actually over here. That's, that's a Salt River Bay. That one's a Philadelphia, whatever it is. 2017 Ozark Riverways, now we don't need that. And a Philadelphia right there, all right. Now let's go ahead and open it up here and see what we can get. So right over here on the right side we're gonna start it off we got an arches 2014 pretty sure we don't need that one here we go we got a chance for a texas once again let's see if we can get that denver now three two and philadelphia as expected all right i'm gonna put that 2015 to the side there great basin i know we already have all of those it's sort of like in the 2015 2016 2017 area. I'm not sure what we need in there. There's a, there's quite a few still missing. There we go. We got a bicentennial. Always good to see that. That's actually our sixth one so far. So we're averaging about one of those every two rolls, which is which is pretty good. Happy to see that. 2013 Fort McHenry. I think we already got that one, but just in case, I'm gonna take a look at that. And getting down to the end here. Haven't seen that 71 yet. We got a 2014 here, Everglades. Do we need that one? Can't remember. We'll go ahead and take a look at that one as well, guys. And that is the end of the roll. So we'll go ahead and take a look and I'll get back to you in just a sec. All right, so it turns out unlucky roll number 13 was as described, unlucky. We got zero coins on that one. Hopefully 14 has some better luck for us here and uh, we can get something into the collection. I had a lot of coins that were close. I just had the wrong mint mark, so. I don't know. Take from that what you will. Here we go. We got some shiners in this roll for sure. There's a Denver Marsh Billings Rockefeller. A couple right here, right next to each other. Do you see any others? Maybe those four on the uh, left-hand side there that might might have a chance. What is that going to be? 2019. What, what? Oh, actually, River of No Return. That's not one we see very often, but I'm pretty sure we already have it in the collection. So, All right, that is going to be that. Let's actually look at these. These last four, I can't tell the difference. These, these all look pretty shiny to me. So there we have a Salt River Bay, Philadelphia, Denver here, Salt River Bay. Oh, we have a Cumberland Island. We found one of those earlier, but uh, we're definitely not interested in uh, seeing that one again because we already have it. And there is no chance for a West Point. Now, what the heck happened here, guys? Take a look at this. Oh, first off, actually, we should probably say we got a 71 right here. Unfortunately, I do see the mint mark over there. That's a Denver mint mark. We're looking for no mint mark, and that would be the last one to fill in that spot in the collection. What the heck happened to this coin? Uh, it looks like I know this design. I just can't remember the uh, the state, but it's one of the uh, older state quarters, and it's super, super messed up. I don't even know how that got in the roll. And as a matter of fact, I don't know if I'll even be able to return that. Sometimes coins like that just get rejected when you try to bring them into the uh, coin machines, but we'll give it a try. Hopefully we can get our money back for that one. Somebody did anyway. All right, moving on here. I'm about halfway through the roll already. We got a 2013 Mount Rushmore. I think we might have a chance on that one. So I'll put that one to the side. I can't remember if we have that one or not. But getting down to the end of it here, sort of looking grim, except right there. Look at that, guys. 2010, these are the most difficult coins to find, at least in the modern era. 2010 has been so difficult. 
hopefully that's going in. It, it has a lot of different places it could go in because we've hardly found a single 2010 yet. Mount Hood. All right. That is awesome. Guys, okay, I'm going to put that one on the side go through the rest of these and let you know what I get. All right, guys, check this out. Here's our America the Beautiful collection. And uh, it looks like I stand corrected. We have not actually found a single 2010 yet. And you can see all of this space up here, all 2010s, not a single one into the collection until now. Mount Hood 2010, here we go. We didn't get anything else into the collection from this roll, but this one's definitely going in no matter what the mint mark is. And this one happens to be a Philadelphia. So that is our first 2010 into the collection, it's gonna be going right there. And I'll go ahead and push it in. That is awesome, guys. This is such a difficult page. And I think that this page may have uh, spots in it for quite a while throughout this series. You can see that we're almost entirely through a single box of quarters. And this is all we've been able to show for, especially looking at that 2010. That's the first time we found a 2010 and we're almost entirely through a box of quarters. That's unbelievable, guys. We'll go ahead and get on to the next roll now. And uh, even though we only got a single coin, and I think that was definitely a very lucky roll number 14. Now moving on to roll number 15, let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have in store. If it's anything like roll number 14, I will definitely, definitely be happy about it. All right, so we got some shiners here. This one's definitely sticking out to me. This has probably one of the nicest rims uh, that I have seen in quite a while. Marsh Billings Rockefeller 2020. It's not going to be a West Point though. This one is a little bit thinner, so let's let's. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Look at that. That's not even a state quarter or anything. That's just a really really nice 1995 Denver. I think I'll definitely be replacing whatever I have with that coin right there. That is an awesome awesome find. Let me make sure that that one doesn't get mixed in with the others. Let's take a look here. We got uh, a couple more chances for West Point. So we got Marsh Billings Rockefeller there, just Philadelphia. And then this one over here, which is being difficult. What is this one going to be? It looks like it's not a West Point. It's in Denver. And it's just a Salt River Bay. All right. So we'll go ahead and get into the rest of these. See if we can get something into the collection here. So what are we going to get in roll number 15? Guys, let me know down in the comments below how your collections are coming along. If you're kind of going through this series uh, with me, if you're doing the same thing with quarters, we got a chance for a West Point there, but it's just going to be a Philadelphia on the San Antonio missions. Now, I don't remember if we've got this Missouri or not yet, so I will put that one to the side. It would be nice to uh, get that one if we haven't already. Great Sand Dunes. I think that's another one that uh, may or may not need to be filled in, so I'll put that one to the side. There's a Homestead. Eh, I'm not so sure about that one. Oh, here's the uh, the quarter that we found earlier that was super beat up. It turns out to be a New Hampshire, and uh, but you couldn't tell if if you, if you didn't ha already have some knowledge on quarters because that thing was almost unrecognizable even as a quarter. There's an Everglades right there. I think we still need one of those, so we'll put that one to the side. We definitely have a lot of chances here uh, in this roll. It's looking good so far. Block Island, I think we already have Homestead, but we'll just take a look at those just in case, guys. I think we definitely have some good chances, like I said, so we'll go ahead and take a look and I'll let you know in just a sec. All right, guys, so on this one, we actually have three different chances for coins going into the collection. I guarantee you, well, I can't guarantee you, but I think there's a pretty high chance that at least one of these is going to be going in. So let's take a look at this one first. Missouri, we need that Denver mint mark. We've already tried for it once. Let's see if we can get it here, guys. Three, two, and one. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, it's not going to be that one. So we are down to only two more chances now. That was the Philadelphia, but we do have a couple more coins over here. Let's take a look at these. So this is in the 2014, and I guess they're both 2014 actually. So let's take a look here, guys. Great sand dunes. We also need the Denver. And actually you're gonna see a pattern. We need the Denver on all of these. Three, two, one. Okay, so we're 0 for two. But can we get this final coin here, Everglades 2014, come on, be good to me, guys. Three, two, and it's a Philadelphia. Oh, man, sometimes I don't even know. All right, so that is pretty disheartening. Unfortunately, we're going to have to write in a zero here. I feel like a computer with all these zeros and ones. I'll have to figure out what this is in uh, binary after we're done, see what we're spelling out we're here with all these zeros and ones. But uh, maybe we'll put a two in there in one of these last five rolls. We're going to go ahead and move on to roll number 16 now. All right, guys, here we go, cracking into roll number 16. Let me know down below. What do you think this one's going to hold for us? Specifically roll number 16, please make sure to mark it. This is what's going to be 
in roll number 16. And if you're right, well, you win my utmost respect. All right, let's see. This one right here actually looks kind of like that 95 Denver, which we saw earlier, which is in really great shape. And what do you know? It's going to be a really nice Michigan quarter. I really appreciate all of these really nice looking uh, Michigans. I think we might have another one right here. Maybe not Michigan, but something older. This doesn't really look like a 2020 to me. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it is a 2020. Look at that. So we have a Weir Farm, something we don't usually see. It's just going to be a Philadelphia, though. All right, with that being said, let's break into the rest of this roll and see if we can get anything else out of it. Let's take a look here. We got a 1982P. I know that there's something about the 1982. I think it's a no P that you want to be on the lookout for. But uh, I'm not I'm not too well versed on that. There we go. We got a Bicentennial right there. I'll pull that one to the side. We have a Kansas quarter here, which we can check once again for that In God We Rust error. Nope, not seeing it on that. That's a pretty strong uh, T right there. Ooh, here we go. Look at this guy's 2012 Denali. All right. So maybe we're going to get that 2012 in because that's another one of those years that we don't see very often. I'll put that one to the side for sure. These look like they could be older. That's a 72, just one year off of the one we need. And nope. Got an 82 right there, so that's going to kill that dream. All right, let's keep on moving on here. Ellis Island, we already have all of those. 2020 Weir Farm showing up again. Let's take a look at that. That's definitely interesting to see, a couple of those in a single roll. There's a 65, kind of moving along those same lines. There's a 95 Denver, once again, looking in really nice shape. Here we have our Salt River Bay 2020. Going to check for West Point. Not going to be at that time. And there we go. We got a second Bicentennial on the roll. So I'll be putting that one in the pile of Bicentennials that uh, we'll be taking a look at here at the end of the video. But I think that's about it for that roll, guys. I will check these ones out here and see if we can get anything in. And I'll let you know in just a sec. All right, so this is definitely nice to see. Here we are on the 2012 pages. You can see just very few of those in so far. Denali, we haven't gotten a single one of those in yet, so... Whether we get the Philadelphia or the Denver, we know that this is going into the collection, which is definitely a good feeling. It is the only one, though, unfortunately, and it's going to be a Philadelphia, so we'll go ahead and put that in now, right where it goes, right there. So that is awesome. We got one coin in there, continuing the pattern of ones and zeros. Hopefully, we can end up getting a two or a three in one of these last rolls. Let's go ahead and find out. Moving on now to roll number 17. Let's go ahead and open her up and see what's inside. Oh, man. I thought I had something. Well, I don't know what I have here. Actually, look at this, guys. Sort of a weird-looking coin right here. It's almost rusty-looking. I don't know what this is going to be. It's almost like a... I don't know. Maybe some weird toning on it? Oh, definitely some toning. we got some yellow toning going on here. Salt River Bay. Okay. Kind of interesting. I might, I might actually hold on to that one. That's some nice toning right there. For sure. All right. Lots of shiners in this one. We got a Philadelphia here, and we'll see what we got. Marsh Billings Rockefeller, so 2020 there. We got a Salt River Bay here with the Denver. And where are the rest of the Shiners? We got one right here, it looks like. Ooh, nice. One of my favorites, American Samoa. Gotta flip it this way. Philadelphia, okay. And I think that is about it. So we'll dump this out now and take a look. And what are we gonna get? In roll number 17, let's take a look here. Nice older looking one right there. Oh, almost. That's a 72. We need the 71. I think we still need the Alaska, so I'll pull that one to the side. And uh, just go through the rest of these here. What else do we have? So, ooh, Mount Rushmore. That, that is in rough shape, though. I'm not sure if we need that one. I'm just going to put it to the side just in case. Ozark Island, sort of the same thing. Pictured rocks, I already checked that one. Wow. <laughs> Two pictured rocks right next to each other. That is something you don't see every day. All right, which one is that one? Kasachi. I sort of get the Kasachi and Shawnee mixed up. Uh, so I, I know that we need Shawnee. We don't need Kasachi. We do need Missouri with a Denver mint mark, though, guys. Let's hope we can get it here. Three, two, and it's a Philadelphia, unfortunately. <laughs> Every single time. Wow, another pictured rocks. That's three in the same roll. That's pretty crazy. Definitely don't see that very often. Here we go. We got a Lowell 2019. Nice to see some 2019s in the mix. And that one's going to be a Philadelphia. I would really love to find a 2019 
uh, West Point, but it's just, it's almost impossible, it seems like, to get these anymore. All right, that is the end of that roll, guys. I'll go ahead and get back to you in just a sec. Alaska, we meet again. Here we go. We got an Alaska quarter right here. Hoping for the Denver Mint Mark to finish off this page. Can we get it? Three, two, and Philadelphia, unfortunately. So that is going to be a zero for roll number 17. We got three more rolls to go. Hopefully we can get something out. All right, guys, here we go. Getting into roll number 18 now. Let's see what we can get out of this one. Got a zero on the last one, a one on the one before that, and wow, I have not seen such nice looking shiners as these three right here. Those those edges are just amazing. I mean, do we have a proof or something here? What do we have? That's just a Philadelphia, Salt River Bay. This one is just exquisite, and that's, that's a weird word to use to talk about a quarter, but uh, unfortunately, it's just a Denver. I mean, come on. We gotta get a West Point at some point here, especially with the way these coins are looking. Here's our last chance right here, and that one's gonna be a Denver. I don't see any others, so we'll go ahead and just jump right into this roll. Let's take a look and see if we can get something out. So actually, we got a couple more Salt River Bays here. That one's just a Denver. And uh, I think, I don't know if we checked that one or not already, so I'll, I'll check it again just to make sure. There's a Missouri, guys. Can we get the Denver on this one, please? Three. Two, Philadelphia once again. That is unfortunate. All right, Salt River Bay, quite a few of these in this roll. There's a Philadelphia, so we don't need that one. There's another Salt River Bay right there. We have a Missouri once again for the D. Yes, finally. Oh my gosh, okay. Maybe I just don't wanna count down on these and that's how we get the Denver finally. That one's going into the collection for sure. We have a Salt River Bay right here. Looking for the W, and we don't get it, so we'll keep moving on. Well, like I said, guys, don't know if I checked this one or not, so we'll flip that one real quick just to make sure. We got a Bombay hook. That one looks really nice. Ooh, we got a Wisconsin here. I don't remember. No, we, we already got the Denver. We're just looking for the extra leaf on this one, which I don't see. And that one's just going to be a Philadelphia anyway, so we'll throw that one back. This one looks pretty old right here. Oh, I'm off camera. There, there we go. 1977, that almost looks like a silver quarter right there. Nice old looking one. Do not need it though, so we'll keep moving on. There we go, we got a 2020 American Samoa and it's just Philadelphia, so we'll keep moving on here. That looks like uh, definitely a newer quarter. Actually, it almost looks like a proof or something, man. That That is nice shiny right there, but it's just a Denver, so I don't think it's gonna be anything of note. And the last coin here is an Idaho. All right, guys, I know we have one coin in. I'll check out these other ones and see if we can get anything else in. So it's roll number 18 that finally brings us that Missouri 2003 Denver, which means that we only have two more coins to get in this collection until we are finally done with it. And that would be the Texas 2004 Denver and then the Alaska 2008 Denver. So that is crazy, guys. One coin on that roll. We'll go ahead and move on to roll number 19. So here we go, roll number 19. And I just thought about it, guys. We are very, very close on a lot of collections to filling them out completely, but we haven't gotten them yet. And we actually have a chance in these last two rolls to completely fill out either the state collection or I guess the Washington Quarters collection, uh, the older ones. Now, I guess not including the silver. We only have one more to go there. Now, I see quite a few shiners here. Always, as you guys know, looking out for the 2019 and 2020 West Point quarters. It looks like we have a nice river of no return right there. I want to look at that one first to see if we have a West Point on that. Would really love to get a 2019 West Point at some point, but I haven't been able to so far, which is sort of a shame. Uh, but we'll take a look at the next one. This one's a Denver. And it's going to be the pictured rocks. Okay, so that that we didn't have a chance for a West Point on that, but uh, certainly looked like we might have just based on how nice and shiny it was. Here we have a Marsh Billings Rockefeller with a Denver, and then yeah, lots of chances in here. Salt River Bay, Denver, and what do we have here? Looks like we're going to see the mint mark first. Philadelphia with the Salt River Bay. All right, I think that's about it for those. We'll go ahead and open it up now and uh, see what we can get out of this roll. So like I said, would love to try and finish up that state collection. And actually right here, this is one of the ones we need. Like we were just talking about the Texas. Let's flip it over. We're hoping for the Denver guys. And here we, yes. So I didn't do the countdown that time, like I was saying earlier. And that is how you get 
a Texas 2004 Denver quarter right there. I will put that one to the side. All we need at this point is the Alaska Denver. We only have this and one more roll to go to actually find it. So I'm hoping that we can do it because that would be absolutely insane. So, all right, here we go. River of No Return 2019. Not going to be a West Point, unfortunately. On the lookout for that Alaska quarter. Come on, can we find one? So we got uh, Nebraska there, 66. We still need that 71 as well. That would be another milestone. And we're still seeing 2020s, unbelievably. There's a Philadelphia right there. And there we go, guys. We actually have a chance to do this. Can we do this right here? Alaska, no countdown. Here we go. Let's take a look at this right. Yes. Yes, that is so cool, guys. Unbelievable. Right at the end there, I guess we do have one more roll to go, but that actually finishes off the state collection. Two coins in the same roll. 2008 Denver, Alaska. And then over here we have our 2004 Denver, Texas. That is so, so cool. That is unbelievable. All right, so there you go, guys. All you need is a single box to completely fill out your state quarters collection. And uh, you heard it here first, so... All right, guys, what else do we have? Shenandoah, I think we might need one more of those, so I'll put that to the side. We might actually have a three-coin roll here, guys. I'll go ahead and get into the rest of these and let you know what we get. All right, so before we finish off the state quarters collection, we have one coin to check here to see if this is going to be a three-coin roll. So Shenandoah, 2014 Denver. Like I said, we've been having difficulties with the Denver until the end here. Let's see if we can get another Denver here, guys. Let's go ahead and flip it over and see what we got. Oh, unfortunately on that one, it's just gonna be a Philadelphia. So that one will be going back. But let's take a look at that state quarter collection, guys. The, the collection that basically we won't have to be looking at any more after this because we're gonna finally have it filled out. So let's just go ahead and flip through these rolls real quick to kind of see what we were able to accomplish, which I'm still super, super uh, astounded by. So those first two pages are completely done. This is the one that we majorly were looking at today. And you can see right here that Texas 2004, that's what we found in the last roll. There it is, the 2004 Denver. So that's gonna be going in uh, right there. And uh, basically the only reason that I need to open this up is if I find a really nice coin uh, that uh, can replace one of the other ones. Cause some of these aren't you know, the best looking like over here with the Idaho, the, that, those could definitely be replaced. And uh, right here guys, this is the last coin going in. It's actually one of the last ones in the collection period. And it's the Alaska 2008 Denver. So stoked that we were able to get that out in the, uh, basically, the well, second to last roll in this case. But uh, they came with that Texas. Man, that was, that was awesome. So there we go, guys. That is the end of that collection. Awesome to see that one get completely filled up. And all it took was a single box of quarters. I challenge you to try and do the exact same thing. See if you can. And with that, we move on to our final roll in box number one of the Coin Quest Quarters series. Let's see what this one is going to have in store. Now, if this one doesn't have a Canadian coin or something like that, I'm going to be a little bit sad because, you know, when I go into a box of quarters, I expect to see at least a few Canadian coins, maybe even a silver every once in a while. So let's see what we're going to get. Oh, no. It's not looking like uh, any Canadian, unfortunately, this time. I'm not even really seeing any shiners in this one, except for maybe, maybe one of these. Let's see what we got here. That looks like a Philadelphia to me, and it's a Block Island. And then we have one more here to check. Take a look at this one. That is also Philadelphia, and it's a Wisconsin. All right. So looking for that extra leaf on this one. This actually might have to replace whatever I have in the album because this is a pretty nice looking uh, Wisconsin right there. All right, let's go ahead and go through this last roll in the box. If we could get a 71 Philadelphia, I would be absolutely ecstatic. That's one of the last ones that we need in the uh, early Washington collection. Here we go, Salt River Bay 2020. No West Point on that one though. Hopefully we get that 71. That's pretty close right there, 67. And there's a Apostle Island, a bunch of state quarters, which we can skip because we don't need those anymore. <laughs> I am going to be saying that for a while here. All right, lots of state quarters. What in the heck is going on here? There's Apostle Island again right there. Texas, I wonder if it's going to be the Denver. A lot of times that'll happen. Nope, that one's just the Philadelphia. But yeah, a lot of times you, uh, you know, you're looking for a coin forever and then... All of a sudden, two of them come out at once. 
There's a White Mountain 2013. We may or may not need that in the collection. I'm going to put it to the side, though. What do we have here? 2016 Theodore Roosevelt. Didn't recognize it because it was kind of weird looking there. So we got a Kansas here that we can check for the In God We Rust once again. But yeah, that's showing up pretty strong, so I'm going to say no on that one. Let's go ahead and get through the rest of these coins here. Coming down to the end of the box. And what a box has it been, guys. Look at this. Unbelievable. 2010 Hot Springs right there. We know that's going in because the only other one that we had, I think it was Mount Hood 2010. So that's definitely going into the collection right there. A nice 2010 to come out right at the end. And then we have an Arches to finish off the roll. Guys, I'm going to check out that 2010. I'll also make sure to look at this 2013 White Mountain, and I'll get back to you in just a sec. All right, guys, so that last roll definitely produced well for us. 2010 Hot Springs, Denver, you saw come out at the end there, so that's going to be going right here. It's actually the first coin, uh, one of the first coins into the America the Beautiful collection, so that's one, but we actually have a couple other chances here. Take a look here. We got the White Mountain 2013. We'll just flip a couple pages here over to the next one. You can see right here, White Mountain. We need the Denver on this one, so let's see if we can get it, guys. Flip it over and take a look. Um, nope, that one's going to be a Philadelphia. So we are down to one other coin that could go in. I think we've already uh, tried for this one before, but it, with uh, with no luck. So the Great Sand Dunes also looking for the Denver on that one. Flip it over and see what we get. Oh, unfortunately, just going to be the Philadelphia. But hey, I will take that 2010 Hot Springs any day of the week. Very happy to have another 2010 in along with my Mount Hood. And with that, we finished the first box of quarters in the Coin Quest quarter series. And it only took, what, six or seven episodes? I'm gonna be honest with you guys, that was a lot more content than I thought I was gonna get out of a single box of quarters. But as you can see, there's lots of quarters to look for. We have six collections here, including the Canadian collections. Of course, we didn't get anything into those which I'm a little bit bummed out about, but I do have hope for the next box. The one thing that you guys already know I'm super stoked about is the fact that we were able to finish off the Statehood Quarters collection in a single box of quarters, and it really came down to the wire there. It literally came down to the second to last roll that we were able to finally pull it off, and I couldn't be happier about that. I think that's just an amazing accomplishment, and it just goes to show if you're looking to hunt quarters, if you're looking to collect, there's a very low barrier to entry, so all you have to do is pick up a box of quarters and uh, you can basically fill out an entire book using just that. Now, of course, when you get into the 2010s, 2011s, those are gonna be a little more tricky, and as you see, we still have a lot of work to do in uh, those areas, but I am excited to keep working at them and see how many boxes it takes to finally fill them out. Once again, guys, real quick here, if you wanna pick up one of these silver stacking placemats, which features dimes, quarters, and half dollars to aid you in your coin roll hunting, you can head on over to quincecoins.com, and I'll be putting links down in the description below. But anyways, guys, with that being said, that's going to pretty much do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go down below and leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new because I post new videos like this every single week, always bringing you along with the hunts and having a good time. And as always, I'm Quinn, and this is Quinn's Coins signing out, and I will see you in the next one.